Good morning everyone, welcome to morning prayer this morning. Thank you for being there as we begin our day looking to God together, receiving his peace and love for us. So we begin morning prayer this morning. I use the words from Church of England's daily prayer service, including a time of silence in which we can bring ourselves before God each morning. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. If you were with us for morning prayer yesterday, You'll have heard Rev Dave say that we were moving on now from our dip into the Our Daily Bread resource. If you found that set of daily readings and reflections helpful, then do look up that resource for yourselves or recommend it to others. What we're going to do in our morning prayer now is walk alongside those in our home groups who have started a study called the Bible Course written by the Bible Society this term. The Bible Course has eight sessions that give the full big picture narrative of the whole Bible story with readings to do in between sessions to give a taste and a flavour of the whole Bible narrative. Rev Dave began yesterday with the first verses of the Bible from the book of Genesis, the first day of creation. Today I'll jump ahead to the end of that first chapter of Genesis and the sixth day of creation. Book of Genesis chapter 1 beginning to read at verse 26. Then God said, let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals on the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit, you shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning the sixth day. Amen. God's word to us today from the book of Genesis. Rev Dave said to us yesterday that Genesis shows us that God created the world and lives in relationship with it. And it's very true that, isn't it? That if our eyes are open to it, we can experience God through the natural world around us. 
The verses we read today reveal to us that God made the earth especially to be in relationship with humankind, making us in his image. What an amazing thought and fact that is, that you, that I, that all of us were created in God's image. But when I read those words, amazing as they are, my heart also gets filled with sadness because I know that I personally and humanity collectively often fail to live as image bearers of God. We fail to respect each person as made in the image of God and precious to him. And we fail to tend and look after the wonderful planet that God made, that God created us to live in and gave us dominion over. So clear, isn't it, that we have exchanged being made in the image of God to trying to be gods ourselves. Let's pray this morning then that we would be able to be humble ourselves and retake our status as made in God's image rather than being gods ourselves and renew our vocations to care for God's earth and to love and respect each person whom he has made. Let's take a moment of quiet before we pray together. Lord God, we thank you that you made the world and that you love the world. Thank you, Father, that you made us and love us. Help us, Lord, to live as your image bearers each day. Help us to know that we were made in your image, but made for a purpose. To tend and look after your world. And to love and respect each person on it. Lord God, we pray that you would help us each day take on these vocations we have to care for one another and to care for your world. Lord God, help us to turn away from selfishness, serving only ourselves and our own needs, to turn to you and serve you and live in your ways. In your name we pray. Amen. We join together in saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Every blessing to you today, whatever it holds for you. If you'd be interested in doing the Bible course yourself, then do be in contact with us and we'll find a way to enable that to happen if we can. Do join us again for morning prayer tomorrow and our online quiz tomorrow night. Email Rev Dave if you'd like the Zoom details for that. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.